Warren's test, Ellen's pressed, and Kanye's blessed. This week on The Point. Kanye's breast. I fucking hate Ellen. Why? Oh, here we go. You, Save man. it for the show. Welcome to The Point, the only talk show bringing gay and straight men together to see what happens. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello. friends. <clears throat> Hello, nasty. Hello. Um, we're going to jump right into it today. Talking point number one, war and peace. Okay, so there was uh, this big, oh, we need a photo of... Elizabeth there. There you go. Um, Good job. She's giving you a thumbs up for getting that yeah, picture. Yeah. Up. I know. Yeah. <laughs> She's a boss. Um, so she made a joke recently. Did she tell us the joke? During, uh, it was kind of a zinger, it during a recent forum on LGBT issues. Yeah. Uh, she was asked, um, how would you respond if a voter approached you and said, I'm old fashioned and my faith teaches me that marriage is between one man and one woman? Yes, I saw this, it was yes. everything. Elizabeth Warren said, well, I'm going to assume it's a guy who said that. <laughs> but then she added, I'm going to say, then just marry one woman. I'm cool with that. Assuming you can find one. Shame. Oh. Good. Yeah. So good. Now, uh, okay. So, what what's your reaction to this? I thought it was hard. Good, good yeah, for her. Good. Yeah. Get it, bitch. Okay. I thought it was great. The reason why I'm asking is because this pissed a lot of people off. Of course it did. Good. What doesn't these days? I know. Well, okay. So people who matter. This. People. Probably not. People no. who. Uh, okay. So people, people spoke out. Is that her? Yes, that is her. Very good. <laughs> Very good. That's why I wore this mm. just for you. Um, I, I, people were upset that um, she was basically insulting a, a bunch of potential sort of moderate, independent yeah, voters. Yeah, the people who make jokes are also really likable. So it's like, why not make a joke? They're not gonna. They're not gonna vote for her anyway. No. No. But if it com but it, it comes down to that. If it's Trump versus someone else, who are people gonna vote for? Trump. And is this those people weren't gonna vote for the Democrat regardless. You think? Mm. Yeah. There aren't good people who are that deeply religious who would be swung by that joke. Yeah. That were going to vote for another uh, Democrat otherwise, okay. or her if she had given a different answer. Here's, here's one reaction. Hank Scheinkopf, a Democratic strategist, said, it's basically telling people who don't agree with you that they are backward by definition. I'm okay with that. It is a battle cry for men to turn sure. out against Elizabeth Warren. No, it's not. She directed it at one person. Yeah. Well, she didn't direct it at one person. She directed it at That's someone who would hypothetically ask you that question. It's more important for her to excite her base at this point than to yeah. worry about stuff like that. Yeah, no, I don't. I, yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> no, and the thing is, is we've seen now in the states that, like, off the cuff, joke type comments will get you elected. Yes, also. Well, it gets you attention. <laughs> Certainly it yeah. gets you. I mean, that, that's that's actually a really good point because are we at, uh, have the standards changed because of Trump? I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does get a lot of attention because I don't follow politics at all and I saw that video because it gets attention and everybody yeah. talks about it. I mean, it's certainly this was a good line and it was yeah. a funny line and it, it got well delivered. huge was, yeah, it hoots and hollers in the audience yeah. at that forum. I just, uh, I go back to this, and I know we've talked about this before, I worry about Elizabeth Warren being just too far left that the Democrats then lose the middle. It's possible. Yeah, I also think too that you gotta keep in mind that this is the this is a primary. No, right? absolutely. Like, so things will, if she was the, the main person, like yeah. she's going to have to switch and change things to get more people excited Absolutely. about her, right? You, in, in the Democratic primary, you you um, campaign to the left and then you have to come back center for the general, same on the Republican side. 
usually, um, mm -hmm. you campaign to the right in the primary, and then yeah. you come back center to yep. appeal to a wider yeah. group so of people. So it wouldn't surprise me if she floated back well, a little here, closer to center. Here's somebody who typically um, appeals to many people, but got in trouble for something. Uh, Ellen DeGeneres. She got in trouble for uh, a photo of her sitting, watching, um, was it a football game? Yeah, football. Da Dallas Cowboys football the game. Owner. In the owner's box. Well. In the owner's box yeah. with George W. Bush. Turns out she is friendly with George W. Bush and Laura Bush. Um, She's friends with like um, uh, his dad too, right? Just like George Bush, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I think so. Like back H -W. In the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, the yeah, yeah, father, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yes. Um, but people uh, came out for her and said, you know, people on the left, how can you be friends with a war criminal and, you know, use your platform to speak out again? Oh, 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 what's, what's? Ain't none my business? Is that what that was? What, what do you uh, think? Go on. No, come on. You were no, talking before, you before we started. I don't have all the facts, though, so I have, like, nothing to But you to have, like, I mean, you certainly have attitudes about uh, Ellen I DeGeneres. I just don't like her. I don't think she's genuine, and I, yeah, she's just, I, anyway, yeah, I don't have the facts, girl. <laughs> well, here are the facts. Um, <laughs> Get your opinion ready. Um, yeah, uh, she, uh, uh, that was me at the Cowboys game. She tweeted with George W. Bush over the weekend. She's just very problematic. A lot of the things she does, if you like look in deeper, like there's just more to it than face value with her. And everybody who has worked with her or has like been behind the scenes say that she's terrible to work for and that she's a total bitch. That is true. I've heard that yeah. well. I literally I've have friends who have worked with her. Well. But here's, here's a, but I was fascinated with this idea of you cannot be friends with somebody who you disagree with politically. That's, yeah, that's driving me nuts. I mean, I, you I think can, that's a problem. but everything that she stands for, it's like, it just, she just count, it, she's contradicting herself and what she I, likes to talk about, all the LGBTQ stuff, and um, it just doesn't really make sense. But I also think, too, though, like, at least for myself, if I, I, being nice to somebody else, like, for example, like her being nice to George Bush, to me has nothing to do with the fact that it's George Bush. It has to do with the fact that, like, it's going to make her feel better to be nice, like, what do you want her to do? Sit there and fucking fight with him about it? Uh, but what that's, what, that's what that's like, what people like. It has like, to, like if I'm going and being nice to somebody uh, that I don't like, it has nothing to do with that person. It has to do with I need to feel good about this because it's not going to do any good for me to be angry about this situation. Um, stuff on on Twitter, uh, people saying it was Ellen's responsibility to call out war criminals, oh even God. if you're friends. It's not her responsibility. Um, I think <laughs> How is that her responsibility? <laughs> Floated on she the sat down by somebody at a game. Yeah. Other other people were saying that Ellen's brand of kindness is out of style, and kindness for kindness' sake is dead. It is oh, no. Wow. Geez. And no. I think that is really dark. troubling. That's yeah. a scary, scary world. That is to live scary. In. Because absolutely that's, terrifying. That's, so you're just supposed to be a dick to everybody, no matter what. Like, Fantastic. If somebody what doesn't agree with world. you. Fuck you. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Let's fight right Here's now. Here's an example. But, but, but this I is where hate our the Kardashians. Is. Hate them. But I love Tito. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. But, uh, well, well, we'll get to the Kardashians me. later. We'll Hopefully, get to he can forgive me for that view. We'll uh, uh, but <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm out. This is this is our politics right now. Is that you can't have a civil conversation or be friends with? I mean, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has said, who's also on my shirt, um, has said repeatedly that she was, she and uh, um, Antonin Scalia and were great friends, uh, were great friends yeah. and would argue vociferously yeah, on the but court that's how you grow. and then go out for that dinner. That is how you grow as a exactly. human being. Yeah. My, my girlfriend and I differ on political stuff. Um, stuff, yeah, everything. Like opinions yeah. and all that stuff. She's conservative like and I'm more liberal. Like, You're allowed to be friends with people you disagree with. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, I think, think you should be. Kind, yeah, I think you, people should be kind for kindness that, sake. Yeah, that whole 100%. thing about that being dead is, it. That it is makes terrifying. you feel good to be kind, whether yeah. wh who cares right. who you're being kind Despite to. Despite how Adam acts all the time. All the time. Right. I'm yeah. trying, okay? Yes. I'm trying. Yes, we're gonna try to be really kind <laughs> in today's midpoint. <laughs> I'm trying, guys. I got a dog Seriously. for fuck's sake, okay? I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> no mercy, baby. <laughs> and now it's time for headline hot takes. Whoa! Hot takes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Or he just did a huge bump of blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Woo, hot takes! Um, okay. Sorry. So, <laughs> Sorry, Wendy <Sam> Williams. <laughs> 
lashed out at Meghan Markle. Nobody feels sorry for you. You're fucking Wendy. The talk show host didn't have much sympathy for the Duchess of Sussex and her hardships as a new mom in the public oh, eye. Of course, exactly. Meghan Markle gave an interview recently about how she talked about how it's very difficult to be in the public <laughs> eye as a new mother and a princess or whatever, duchess, whatever. I don't know, royalty. Wendy is always either really right or really wrong. It's never in between. She's always Wendy like, Williams? Yeah. yeah. Well, is she right or is she wrong? She's wrong. She's yeah. wrong. Okay. She's also a hypocrite. She, Why? She's also she, a Marvel character. When she was going through a divorce, she was just like, we would appreciate that this be kept out of the media. Yeah. She, yeah. We, we appreciate she our privacy. Such a hard and it's just life. like, you're the one who outed like what I think it was like Red or Method Man's wife being pregnant or something when it wasn't public knowledge. Or, uh, or she said, like, uh, she's she said of you. Sucks. She said to Meghan Markle, "You knew exactly what you were doing, and I applaud her, her plot, her plotation, plot." Plotation. Of the, on the royal situation, but please don't try to garner sympathy from us. You knew what you were doing. So it's, it's like, so did you, you dumb. It bitch. just seems like she's like, <laughs> well, she makes, she has so much more money than I do, so she doesn't deserve the same dignity that a, any other human being. I mean, is. Wendy Williams is also like rumored to be like a robot, so like, <laughs> <laughs> like bitch, like shut I up. Can see that. Okay, well, if not Wendy Williams, how about Cardi B? Oh, uh, <laughs> I love Cardi B. Oh, I fucking love her. Cardi B got in trouble. She's such a maniac. She got in trouble because she said that she couldn't possibly be transphobic because she <coughs> is, quote, a whole bisexual with, quote, butch women friends. <laughs> What is I that? would love some clarity on what uh, a whole bisexual yeah. is. Yeah, what's a whole bisexual? One of her holes is bisexual. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, uh, Cardi <laughs> has endured allegations. Her butt's bisexual. Actually, her, yeah, her butt is bisexual. Her um, butt's bisexual. She has endured yeah, allegations of queer phobia <laughs> over her lyrics and over social media posts since rising on the charts two years ago, most notably her appearance in Rita Ora's song Girls, which featured lyrics about lesbian relationships titillating men. Ha. I, to, um, yeah, I, I'm not transphobic. You love dragging that, she she uh, said in a now deleted tweet. Have I said some remarks in the past that I have apologized for? Yes, I'm from a place that people have closed mindsets, so we might not know what insults other or not I have disres I have, I have never disrespected no trans nor nobody from GLBT. She sounds like she needs some she's growing just not... education, and that's oh. fine. No, that's just, how she's, that's just how she speaks. I mean, yeah, she needs some education. I, was, well, I watched oh, that new show with her uh, called Hustle and Flow, and it's just. She's just, why are people looking to Cardi B for anything? <laughs> like, actually, though. Um, okay, next. Azalea Banks. Oh, oh my God. Can you know. keep Jesus. picking problematic people? <laughs> <laughs> she. What did she do? She's okay, worse. so she slammed. She's worse than Wendy and Ellen together. Oh, God. She oh. slammed um, dumbass Frank Ocean and all people taking prep. She, okay, so. <laughs> well, to be what? honest, Frank Ocean right now is also a little much. He's like getting, creating merch that says prep on it for like $80, like. Right. Okay, well you don't have to buy it. I mean, he's just like. Uh, well, okay, so he's, he, he gay. has launched, okay, so Frank Ocean <laughs> is gay, gay recording artist. He launched a, a, a club or a club night in New York called Prep Plus. And um, he it's like a prep streaming service, uh, right? Right. <laughs> As an homage to what could have been, could have been of the 1980s New York City club scene, if the drug prep had been available at the time. Wouldn't that have been wonderful? Azalea Banks took exception to the name and voiced criticism of the medication. Um, she said, "Gays stay off that prep shit because the white media is plotting on y'all, and you're making it too damn easy for them." What a fucking who lunatic. is this person? Literally, who are you? She's very troubled. Um, she, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of troubled uh, people. Why are, is she well, a singer? Is, Why are we talking uh, about? She's a her? rapper. She's a rapper that fucked um, because she can't work with anybody because she's. Crazy. There's no reason. She can't you, work with anybody. There's no reason you need <laughs> yeah. to have a fucking That's pill great. so you can just fuck whoever you want to fuck. The it's boy? not what it's about yet. What about the birth bitch. control? The, oh, thank yeah. you. That's, there are multiple things. Sorry. The, oh, I agree with you. <laughs> the boys are still getting HIV. The girls are getting fucking renal failure. They're getting liver fucking failure. They're getting anal warts. They're getting anal cancer. Okay. This is all on That's live. That's a fucking correct? what? Death trap. <laughs> she was all. She was on live during this. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. yeah. Anal awards. That's all she does is go on live. Instagram anal awards are the worst. Instagram story. <laughs> you had anal awards? Yeah. It sounds wow. like it's almost out of Angels in America. Like, what she, she's, you know, like, gays get okay. AIDS, okay. Henry. This is liver cancer. Like, what is she, like, what is, what is this? Uh, what is this? Well, what is this? Um, people are getting Stewart. fillers and Botox to rid themselves of resting bitch face. A surgeon from New York has revealed that many of his patients ask him to make them look more approachable. Is this a before or after picture? Uh, I think this is a before. Okay. Um, Didn't work. So, out. Like take what do you think? Uh, how, how is a filler supposed to get rid of resting bitch face? <laughs> Maybe I didn't hear you correctly. Okay, Doesn't that filler Sorry. make you show less emotion? So wouldn't you? Well, but resting have bitch natural, face. Well, no. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't that just continue the resting bitch face? Yeah. If that's Maybe what it, it is, unless they put fillers low. in. To, like, like the lit. Joker? Yeah, yeah. Like the <laughs> yeah. Joker, yes. Uh, according to David, uh, Dr. David Schaefer, a certified plastic surgeon in New York, um, it's a common request. They may not always use the term resting bitch face, but if I mention RBF, they say exactly. RBF. Oh my God. Tito, would you do that? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't okay. have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's just... Oh girl, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Okay, <laughs> well here we go. Man, a man has sued, a, a Russian man has sued Apple after he claimed his iPhone made him gay. <laughs> oh, oh. This is just science. Because he it's stuck true. it up it's his totally butt. Yeah, like, <laughs> a Put it on vibrate. Yeah. He's like, damn. <laughs> um, uh, a Russian man identified only as D. Razumilov. Every name that you get yeah, is like the last two episodes. Has just, He's just telling it. Has just, he wants the D. Uh, has just filed a lawsuit for, quote, moral suffering and harm to mental health. After he claimed his iPhone tricked him into downloading an app that made him gay. <laughs> was that the was app that. Grindr? That was your penis. Uh, 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 he, no, um, he claims he received a payment of 69 gay coins, a form of cryptocurrency, <laughs> on his iPhone in 2017. What? I'd buy um, gay coins. Gay coins? Gay what coins. What are those worth? I don't Why know. don't I have any gay coins? Uh, I thought... <laughs> Uh, the payment from an unknown sender also came with the message, don't judge without trying. So I thought, indeed, how can I judge something without trying it? And he decided to try same-sex relationships. All it took was 69 gay coins. There you go. Holy okay, but how shit. much are those actually worth? Like, what is that? I don't understand. It's worth a great Gay conversion in yeah, cryptocurrency? Yeah, like, a zero. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, uh, so you should try being gay. He tried being gay and liked it so, so his fault. iphone made him gay in reality we know <laughs> that this is a guy who has been Thanks. caught and yes. broken at a russian law and really therefore is trying to get out of it yes that they spend their money and time wisely suing somebody for something that's never going to come of well, anything well it just goes back to what doug just said that uh he probably got caught he lives in russia he broke a law he's trying to get out of it right so there you pretend go. that it's not i'm not gay yes. it was my phone it was my phone. <laughs> it turned a funny story into a heartbreaking. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, my my phone turned me into a lesbian. Sick. I think yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but that's today's midpoint. Did you start licking it? You're a lesbian. Oh, I just pushed it away. <laughs>
Dr. Stephen Corbett rejected it, saying that it was offensive to the staff members of because of their, yep. their, the number one rule at uh, Lusher High School. Lusher. Lusher. Oh, Lusher. Lusher. High School. A lot of gay, Lusher. A lot of, a lot is of gay to be kind, and we live this motto every day. Chick-fil-A has been a politically outspoken about its views, and we feel it is not part of Lusher's, Lusher's culture of kindness and Lusher's, community. I love that. See, being kind. <laughs> yeah. Being very kind. Simple. It's very but this easy. Is interesting. You mentioned the Kardashians before. Okay. Nope. <laughs> we'll never do that. Well, the name. I did. It's just about that. Kanye. It's fine. Oh, it's How he's a gospel man now? Well, his well, entire album is a gospel. Okay, so his new <laughs> album includes a song praising Chick-fil-A. Uh, it's called Closed on Sundays. Of course, the album is called Jesus is God, I, have no I believe. Idea. Uh, Jesus is King. Who's Jesus Kanye? is King. <laughs> Like is the name of the album, which uh, came out uh, a week or so ago. A couple really good The tracks, lyrics, so, yeah. the lyrics are, hold the selfies, put the gram away, get your family, y'all hold hands and pray. When you got daughters, always keep them safe. Watch out for vipers, don't let them indoctrinate. Closed on Sunday, you my Chick-fil-A. This ain't game day, get your house in shape. Train your sons, raise them in the faith. To temptations, make sure they're wide awake. Oh yeah! Follow Jesus. Put your, listen. Put your kids into okay. faith. Okay. That'll do that great Chick -fil -A, things. Like that wasn't really. He was praising Chick Fil A, or he just rhymed Chick Fil A with something. Well, you are my Chick Fil A. You you what does that mean? I don't uh, know. The, the song is called "Closed on Sunday," which Chick -fil -A which is, is about, Chick Fil A. But also, that's a that's huge like church yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Like that's a and Sabbath whole fucking in, album in Christianity. Yeah. Anyways, I know it's not in uh, Judaism, but like that's uh, just. What, what? I don't know if I think Con Kanye's lost. Touch with reality. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I don't. I, I don't. It's a gospel album. It's like there's a couple dope tracks, but it's a gospel album. It's I, yeah, have you listened? I to have. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think? I uh, there's a couple wicked tracks, but it's it's a gospel album. It's all about God and whatever. To I mean, their own. I mean, are 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 you a Kanye? I, I I can appreciate him as an artist. Um, I think he's a genius, which makes him also absolutely fucking batshit crazy sometimes. <laughs> Unfortunately, bad. that's what that's the territory mm -hmm. that it comes with. Um. Like I said, he has a couple great tracks. I mean, like when he first came out with College Dropout back in the day, I thought that was one of the oh, best no, I, I albums. Oh no, I mean, Once Upon a Time. Yeah, but now I don't. I just I can't. I have a hard time t taking him serious. Well, yeah. I don't. He, he can't take himself serious. No, I know. Like, he uh, during the uh, recording of the album, he asked his uh, collaborators and the people working on the album not to have premarital sex while they were working on the album. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like, I can't. Uh, it's going to be radical. Um, sometimes asking people to fast. And I was asking people to not have premarital sex while they were working on the album. I know that... Uh, <laughs> he had a Sunday like, service at Coachella this past year as well, right? Like, I, I, I hate... I yeah. hate... This makes me hate religion even more. Like, He does Sunday off. service, I think, every week. Well, uh, and, uh, this, and, every and this brings the... Uh, I mean, he's married to Kim and... Tito, I, poor Kim. I don't know how she do that. I mean, that. I, poor Kim. Poor Kim. Yeah. Oh. She's poor Kim. Rough girl. Yeah, she's rough girl. Yeah. yeah. What a rough life. I mean, if you were married, if you were rich and married to a crazy person, I would. I feel sadder for Meghan Markle than I do Kim Kardashian. Uh, I mean, yeah, at least do. Kim Kardashian probably has a big enough but house she can go to another he, side. Can we wrap well, up this section? Wait, <laughs> but I, this is uh, because you're the Kardashian expert. Kardashian expert, nice. Okay. Hashtag Kardashian expert. Uh -huh. uh, okay, children. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna force feed you Chick-fil-A if you don't stop. This is the first time we've been together and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it all the way over here under the table. It's um, pretty big. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, so Kanye West in his newly religious whatever uh -huh. publicly came out against his own wife for the dress, the look she had at the Met Gala, because it, quote, hurt his soul? <sighs> Listen, he's cray cray. I know, but what is she, I, like I said- He you're... built her up to be this, like, like he um, curated all of her pictures that she would post. Like she wouldn't post anything without showing it to him. Like he changed her whole style. Like he basically made her, like reinvented her. And now he's like going back on everything. So I don't know. But what? Why is he doing this publicly? That's what I don't understand. You have a problem with something that your wife wore in public? He has too much money, money. and no one will ever 
tell him to stop being a fucking asshole. Well, this is and getting him more therefore attention. he can do whatever he wants, and then he'll get bored, and he'll just keep getting crazier and crazier, and into his own psychotic world, and yeah. nothing will ever pull him in. In the that last episode of, of Keeping else. Up with the Kardashians, he does mention something about a picture that she had posted, and then she's like, "I'm not going to take that down." Like, and then he just storms out of the room, and she's just like, "What the fuck?" Aw, like a spoiled little child. Yeah, <laughs> stole my own out. I, tired I now. He just goes through a lot the, in his head. And the, the 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 most successful person in that relationship. Yeah, probably. I think he's he's come to second in that relationship, and it's probably bothering him because I think he's a full blown narcissist. Yeah, yeah. I, and uh, and his best days are and, way well, behind and, him. I'm sure not a doctor. And so. let's bring it back to when he met They're not when he met <laughs> with with Trump, and he said that the MAGA hat, MAGA hat, MAGA. Made him made him feel like Superman. It yeah. made him feel manly. Yeah. Like, he, he, a lot of the so times he doesn't explain crazy. stuff properly huh? though. A lot of the times he doesn't explain things properly and he's just always taken out of context, but yeah. Because he's that mind. wasn't out of context, that's what he he's said. He's not smart enough yeah, but to be uh, able to explain himself. He doesn't I don't know, mean I've heard things him. the way he says them, I think. Because then he always has to re-explain them and then everyone's like, oh, over it. There's uh, it's I, such a contrast this, between like, because I've heard Kanye say some absolutely beautiful, wonderful things, I, and he I, does something I completely think, ridiculous. Yeah. I just, I don't, I don't I, understand. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously, you're never gonna understand somebody else's marriage, but I, I just think if you have a problem with something that your spouse is doing or wearing, you don't talk about it in public. But that's all they know how to do. I yes. guess. That's like the, literally, yeah, they have cameras following show. their private lives. It lives. Makes my head Isn't there an entire okay. garbage show? Tito, based Bop on of the that? Week. Yes, it is. Called something? Bop of the Week is <laughs> Kesha. You're getting side eye, man. You're getting called... side eye. Okay, I can't hear him. Okay, but that's not because of me. Come on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can hear him ever. It's that's called true. Raising Hell. There we go. By Kesha, because she's back, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I didn't know she had a new song yet. Actually, she was back last year and nobody cared. Yeah, um, if you're she watching. Wasn't pop. Well, I, she well was like, I'm just. Yeah, I mean, truth. Now she's like back to dance. If you're if you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to us on YouTube. YouTube.com slash the point, guys. Of course, don't just hit the red button to subscribe, but also hit the bell to let you know nice. whenever a new episode is available. Uh, if you really want to help us out, go to our crowdfunding site. That's on Patreon, patreon.com slash thepointguys. We're also available on the streaming service Fearless. Download their app for all their great content. Our audio podcast is available on iTunes and let us know what you think about Kanye and the new album and his comments about Kim, even though I think he's, I don't know, to me he just seems like an awful human being, but <laughs> whatever. I'm sure he's a great father and husband. Really? No, no. I, don't. I mean, who knows? But it's just, they need to, anyway. Let us know what you think at The Point Guys on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. We have a new show every Tuesday. So we will see you, see you next, next Tuesday. Tuesday on The Point.